Aha! Hello, hello, here we are. Here we are, and welcome, welcome once again to the weekly Wednesday Warble. Uh, today's, today's theme is housekeeping, and uh, <laughs> I did not, I did not have to uh, track down, I did not have to track down any covers, um, because I, I have written at least 10 songs that fit into the housekeeping theme. Uh, we'll just make sure we are still And I'm going to start with this one isn't necessarily specifically housekeeping, but it's just kind of about all the things, all the, we're, <laughs> we're going to start the show off with a stressful number about all the things piling up, which often housekeeping is one of those things. And welcome Nancy, welcome Marlis, it's good to see, it's good to see you guys here. Might have needed a dictionary. Uh, also, perhaps warble gives you a more a more. Uh, <laughs> I think it's slightly better than a warble, but I do like my alliteration. Welcome in. And I feel like I am cleaning up after seven Pegasus, a stable full of shedded feathers, half eight oats, and other waste. And it feels like I am drowning in daily stresses as Stacks up higher Till keeping up feels so hard I'm watching myself fall behind And I feel like I'm cleaning up after seven Pegasus A stable full of shedded feathers Half eight oats and other waste Actually, Jack, I kind of wondered if that was you. And it feels like I am drowning in the noise of seven equine beasts. I'll go outside and take a breath. Seems like I work so hard and yet don't feel like I've accomplished much. Rome wasn't built inside a day. Stand back and appreciate all I Check boxes on the list. Overwhelming, head down into it. Just when I think I'm gaining ground, I notice I forgot to read again. And I feel like I'm cleaning up after seven Pegasus, a stable. Shedded feathers, half eight oats, and other waste. And it feels like I'm drowning in the noise of seven egg white beasts. I'll go outside and take a breath, then dive back in, pitchfork and feed in hell. All right, so there is, there is uh, seven, seven Pegasus cleanup. Which uh, came out of a out of a um, a temporary a temporary randomly generated password for something, and I was like, Seven Pegasus cleanup sounds messy." Um, also, as usual, do let me know if there's any issues with the sound, as I've been I've been moving things around in this studio. Um, I have the mic in a new place, so uh, do just let me know. Now, oh, we're going to switch to the twelve string for this one. So the theme this week is uh, housekeeping, and I have all songs that have something to do with, with housekeeping in some way. And uh, this next one is just sort of about the, the day-to-day, I suppose. And I wrote this, it's called Fireworks. I think it's called Fireworks. I haven't recorded it or put a video up on YouTube yet, and that's... Whichever one of those comes first is usually when my songs actually 
finally get named. Um, but, uh, uh, but, um, bum, 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 fireworks. I wrote this, oh, maybe it's called leftover fireworks. I wrote this one year, uh, all throughout January. I always hear, like, everyone has fireworks for the New Year's, and then throughout the rest of the month, you know, January is, is <laughs> it's kind of a dark month here. Um, all throughout January, just kind of randomly, like on a Tuesday afternoon or something, you'll periodically hear someone just shooting off their fireworks, and it's like, oh yeah, they have some left over. You're housekeeping while listening to the Wednesday Warble. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. This is the this is the, per the perfect housekeeping soundtrack. Um, so without without further ado, leftover fireworks. Oh, is the camera focus off a little bit? Did I go fuzzy? We're gonna start that again. Um, just let me double check. Yeah, it is. It, I did go fuzzy. Thanks for uh, thanks for letting me know. I move around. Sometimes when I switch guitars, I think it's too much movement for my camera to handle. So I'll double check when I go back to my classical. come down decorations vanish to the storage room the season moves on and the guests are gone home is there no more to it than that i'm setting up the leftover fireworks anyway what do we do when the skies are gray the stars are covered we forget they were there the shimmer on the snow is dulled by the fog is that really all it takes i'm setting Leftover fireworks anyway Boom, bang, crash, hear a thunder Welcome change with a grand explosion Flowering, spiraling, kaleidoscope of promise Sparkling, sizzling, bursts of light Gunpowder fills the nostrils brisk Apprehension drowned out by the roar of the detonation filled with hope. What do we do when things stay? Same. It's Friday, it's the weekend, it's Monday again Reality sets in when the first bill arrives Is this really all there is? I'm setting up the leftover fireworks anyway Boom, bang, crash, hear it thunder Welcome, change with a grand explosion Flowering, spiraling, kaleidoscope of Leftover fireworks, which talks about paying bills and all that sort of stuff. So I figured it fit. I think it's time to change the strings on that 12 string, which is a fun task. We're going to stay in the winter. I sort of tried to arrange the songs somewhat seasonally. Um, and so we're going to stay in the winter. And uh, I guess this is a cautionary tale of what happens when you don't, don't do your chores. Um, this is a, this is a love song, and this was the one that I wrote. Um, uh, this is one that, of course, because it's a winter song, I tend to 
pull it out in the winter and we've still got snow. It snowed this morning, it snowed on Monday, um, so it's still seasonal. Uh, but this is about the time that me and my husband failed to shovel and uh, we didn't shovel out our car. We stayed inside and then uh, it snowed again and then we spent an entire weekend shoveling out our car. So this is uh, snow shoveling with my true love on Valentine's Day. We can't go anywhere, the snow has blocked us in Covered the driveway, obstructed the door Our car's ensconced in a top sheet of ice Snuggled right into a duvet of snow And we're gonna be trapped in here if we don't do something Crystalline structures descended from the sky Accumulated and then fell some more And we're gonna be trapped in here <laughs> No, the love part isn't the chore <laughs> And it's cold and wet and the snow is heavy And our backs are gonna feel it tomorrow I might get myself in trouble, I should have thought of this a bit more <laughs> Then we'll get cozy in front of the TV And kiss when the snooker announcer says the word But we're gonna run out of beer If we don't do something Well the store is not far away But there's no place to walk Safer to huddle inside for the night But we're gonna run out of beer And it's cold and wet And the snow is heavy And our backs are gonna feel it have a title um, for the longest time it was in like I've got like a you know I've got like a little database of songs and for the longest time it was in there uh, called untitled song about shoveling snow with my true love on Valentine's Day and after oh, after a while I was like oh I guess I guess that song is called shoveling snow with my true love on Valentine's Day so so there we go um, 
Yeah, yeah. See, that's <laughs> see, Bob. That's the that's that's the that's the phrase in that song that really gets people. It really does. You're not the first person who's been like oh, running out of beer. No. All right. This next one is sort of um, this is a song about um, this is a song about sort of. Uh, Chores that you need to run, errands you need to run, I guess, that are hindered by um, decisions made by large corporations. And I wrote this, I think within the same week, um, I received a letter from my bank uh, telling me that um, <laughs> basically they got rid of all the tellers. So it was like, this list that was like, to serve you better, we're remodeling, and here's all the things you won't be able to do at your branch anymore. Um, and then that same week, my grocery store, also to serve me better, um, they did a bunch of renovations. They'd been doing a bunch of renovations to serve me better, and when they reopened, uh, they'd gotten rid of hand baskets, so you had to get a big cart, which isn't great, because at that time I didn't have a vehicle, so I always walked. Um, uh, they, all the prices went up, <laughs> like everything went, got more expensive, and they closed an hour earlier, um, so I had been in the habit of popping in after my rehearsals, uh, to grab food, and I couldn't do that anymore, because they closed. Uh, so that's what inspired this song. It's called To Serve You Better. Start that. I feel like my my mouth was going at a different pace than my guitar. Dear valued customer, we've got exciting changes in store for you. You're gonna have a whole new experience. We're doing this to serve you better. To serve you better. When we cut back our hours. You're gonna have to plan. Consider it your daily cardio And think of those machines as an exercise for your brain You'll thank us as you get older You'll thank us as you get older Dear valued customer We've got exciting changes in store for you have a whole new experience. We're doing this to serve you better, to serve you better. Well, we canceled that service. There are only three million users. I'm sure you didn't need it anyway. And we shuttered some locations. You'll just have to travel a little further. Think of all the sights you No buses go there Wouldn't you feel better in a car? And you may wonder how This change is for the better You may wonder how you benefit You may second guess who gains from this But think of all the money we'll be making Think of all the CEO's children Don't you wish that we could own a team? Don't you want to see our name on all their swag? You say you'd like to take your business elsewhere Well, we've got news for you We've simplified your world We drove all the competition out So now you have no choice but to stay And let us serve you better Gonna have 
have a whole new experience. We're doing this to serve you better. happened that made it into that song i think yeah spotify spotify raised their prices so they could buy a soccer team um and it's like oh you're not paying me anymore uh, not giving me more money i don't get it anyway uh what's next oh we will put the guitar down for we shall sing a uh we shall sing a uh we've got an acapella song um, yes, we move into spring. We're moving into spring. We did a couple winter songs. Um, that's an all-year song. These are these songs are spring. This is this song is inspired by spring cleaning, and it's April. And we've been talking around here. Actually, yeah, we've been spring cleaning here. We've been kind of going through things and uh, rearranging things and finding things to get rid of. And that's what this song is about. I've had this box for a whole decade. I should also say this is a sing-along, so do feel free to sing along on the choruses. They should be apparent. Sing along while you're cleaning up. I've had this box for a whole decade, sitting in the basement, forgotten, taking up space in the storage room, filled with souvenirs I never want to look at. Just throw it away, you're never gonna miss it. Just throw it away, just throw it away, just throw it away, you're never gonna miss it. I've had this dress since my high school days, hanging in the closet, uncared for, doesn't quite fit, and it's out of style, dry clean only, and the zipper isn't working. Just throw it away, you're never gonna wear it. Just throw it away, just throw it away, just throw it away, you're never gonna wear it. I bought these novels at a church bazaar, lined up on the bookshelf, neglected words and characters I'll never know, uncracked spines mocking my intentions, just throw them away, you're never gonna read them. Just throw them away, just throw them away, just throw them away, you're never gonna read them. I got these parts in the bargain bin, cause you never know when you'll need them, sitting in the cupboard with the broken things, for a rainy day you know is never coming. Just throw them away, you're never gonna use them. Just throw them away, just throw them away, just throw them away, you're never gonna use them. I've had this notion for a whole lifetime, lurking in my consciousness, untended, gathering dust, growing mold, a thought, an attitude, it's highly sabotaging. Just throw it away, you're never gonna need it. Just throw it away, just throw it away, just throw it away, you're never gonna need it. Just throw it away, just throw it away, just throw it away, you're never gonna need it, you're never gonna fix it, you're never gonna want it, you're never going to miss it. There. And yeah, everything about the guitars and shoes. I've been known, I've been known to go on, on, Intense purges that have led my friends to be like, Kyla, is everything okay? Um, and I'm like, yes, everything is okay. I just want everything gone. Uh, but yeah, shoes tend... I have gotten rid of some shoes with time. The ones that truly did not spark joy, but it's very rare and I've often regretted it later. Um, and uh, I think I've only once sold a guitar to buy another. <laughs> So there we go. Other <laughs> other guitars in my life. Oh, my guitars. All right. <laughs> What's next? Oh, next is in the grand scheme of things. Uh, which, which if you've seen me, I feel like I don't do this one online as much. Um, I mean, I do do it online, but maybe not as much as I do it live in person. 
but this was the spring. I wrote this. I wrote this the year that we moved into this house, which was uh, in March of 2021. And uh, before we moved everything in, uh, because the walls were um, apricot. This room was apricot. Apricot. Can you imagine apricot? And uh, our living room, everything upstairs, like the living room and our bedroom, the kitchen, the bathroom. It was purple. The bathroom is still purple because we we thought we would do more stuff in the bathroom. So we're like, well, we'll paint it when we do those other things. And we've never done those other things. So that's another song. Um, but anyway, I was like, okay, let's just go. I'm just, I'm going to paint the house white. And I painted the house. Um, uh, my husband is not, not, uh, I think he started to help me. And I was like, nope, I'm just going to do it. Uh, so I painted the house. And uh, I thought it would just be a matter of going to the hardware store and saying, white paint, please, for this much. Here's my square footage. Give me the white paint. But it was not so simple because you cannot just buy white paint. Um, they ask you all kinds of questions. I ended up having like a friend of mine is an interior designer and I was like, well, I want it to look like an art gallery. Just give me white. Um, so after, after, uh, some agonizing deliberation, I settled on a white that I thought would be white and not yellow or blue. Cause they're like, white is actually yellow or blue. It's like, no, uh, I want white. And, uh, then when I finally picked a color, they were like, oh, well, what finish do you want? Cause there's three different types of finishes. And I went, ah, and they were like, we're just going to give you this one. <laughs> I was like, thank you. Uh, and then I painted my house and discovered that, like, um, you know, I kicked my husband out because he wasn't good, but I'm not that great of a painter either. Uh, all that to say, that was a big chore that needed to be done that I did, and perhaps I didn't do the best job, but that's okay too. Paint settled in the fibers of the carpet on one edge where the tape was less secure. I did my best to soak it up, but latex hardens much too swiftly for my reflexes to snare. There go all my efforts for a clean job. There go my endeavors for a perfect home. But in the grand scheme of things, I guess it doesn't really matter. In the grand scheme of things. I poured over too many shades of white Who knew such a number could exist? It was far more complicated than I was expecting And by the end of it just kind of picked one There goes all that time that I spent thinking There go all my planning, all my careful choice But in the grand scheme of things I guess it didn't really matter In the grand scheme of things What matters is the house is not so dark now What matters is the feeling of renewal What matters is a place to sip our coffee So many jagged edges where a hole was cut for piping Or a molding isn't quite flush to the wall I broke so many tiny brushes made of foam Just trying to jam that paint to those corners when I was all done, there were still spaces Places that I missed where the old shows through But in the grand scheme of things, I guess it doesn't really matter In the grand scheme of things What matters is the house is not so dark now What matters is the feeling of renewal What matters is a place to sip our car grand scheme of things. And then after March, that, well I wrote that in, in a March, it was a March month. Uh, we're going to be painting our deck this month, so <laughs> maybe there will be another song about that. Um, uh, -dum -bum 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 -bum. After March comes April, and April is tax month. Um, so that's what this song is about. Oh, thank you, Bob. Thank you. Yeah, I was really happy. I remember 
because I wrote it here in this house while I was painting it. So like I really remember like the house was totally empty and me just like sitting on the floor in one of the rooms and I think I was still streaming on Twitch. Um, but yeah, working on working on that song while I while I did that. There's I wrote a few songs that week and whenever I play them I can really like transport back to that week that I was painting the house. <laughs> so I took breaks from painting to write songs. Um, there we go. So, ba -dum -bum -bum. taxes though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the deck. The deck is another love chore. The problem with the deck, we keep. Um, we, we should have painted it like two years ago, so we kind of desperately need to paint our deck, but we keep missing the window where um, there's no snow, there's snow, it's covered in snow right now, and the spiders come out because I'm like, I'm too, I don't want to disturb the spiders once they're out. So it's like, well, I can't like displace all these spiders that make their home on my deck. Um, so there's a really small window in which to do that. But this one is about the chore of doing our taxes. Did I do it right? Did I get them in on time? Did I check all applicable boxes? Is a rebate on the way? Do I owe them anything? Will they accuse me of cheating on my cheating, cheating on my taxes? I really like to leave it to the last minute. I really like to let all those receipts pile up. I go out of my way to scroll around the house. Safely cashed away where they cannot be lost. So when the deadline nears, I can't remember where. Well, did I do it right? Did I get them in on time? Did I check all applicable boxes? Is a rebate on the way? Do I owe them anything? Will they accuse me of cheating on my taxes? I like to second guess all my arithmetic. And my understanding of the instructions. Did I miss a line? Did I skip a sound? Are those deductions fair? Does that credit apply? Embrace the nagging fear, I'm doing it all wrong. They're gonna take me away. Drag my name through the courts and take it. Did I check all applicable boxes? Is a rebate on the way? Will I owe them anything? Will they accuse me of cheating on my taxes? Will they accuse me of cheating on my taxes? Will they accuse me of cheating on my taxes? There we go. That's another one of my songs that I pretty much get to break out, you know, a couple times a year. I should be able to start breaking it out in January. Um, the spiders will go to your neighbor's house. <laughs> it's true, it's true. <laughs> they, they will they will find other places to go. This is so. If we don't, if we miss the window this year, we're gonna have to displace the spiders, I think. Um, there are no dangerous spot. No, that's not true. There are black widows in Canada, but not in Newfoundland. They have black widows out west, like Alberta has black widows. Hey, Sarah Spencer. Hey, welcome, welcome in, welcome in. Good to have you here. Um, guys, Sarah Spencer here is like the source of half my songwriting prompts. Um, we're gonna we're gonna stick with errands. I probably should have done this one next to to serve you better. We're doing songs about housekeeping and errands and all that. Um, and so this next one is uh, about you know you gotta buy groceries and you gotta go to the bank, that sort of thing. Um, and I started this, I wanted to write a country song, and I was like, I'm gonna write a country song about dressing up. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad you were able to catch the stream. Um, I wanted to write a song, I wanted to write a country song about dressing up to do mundane things, like going to the grocery store. And um, I totally failed to write a country song. I was thinking of that, you know, like the, the Paris, Texas kind of 
that song, you know what song I'm talking about. Anyway, we're not the jet set. I was thinking like, Allah, we're not the jet set. And I'm like, that would be a great idea for a country song. And I totally failed to write a country song. Um, but I did write this song. And uh, I had my sister-in-law has both worked at a grocery store and at a bank. So I phoned her to get, I was like, please tell me all the positions at these places. And she listed off all these different positions. And then she told me that her position currently at the bank is she is a financial wellness specialist. So I was like, all right, we'll, we'll work with that. I don't, oh, do we have brown recluse spiders? I don't think we do. We don't have anything small and dangerous in Newfoundland. We've got big dangerous things, but not small dangerous things. As far as I know. There's no invitation to a ball. No foreign dignitaries are expected. No red carpet for my Grand Prix bear. No awards awaiting my acceptance. But I'll impress the cashiers, I'll knock out the stock folk, catch the butcher's eye. Then I'll wow the baker, and the sample giver, and the produce manager. Because I have this closet, it's filled with fancy clothes, high heels and tiaras, evening gowns and jewels, purses, shrugs and gloves. I just like to wear them, I don't need any better reason than running all my errands and sitting on my sofa. I'll dress up for the grocery store. For the rats, no job interviewer to deceive, no wedding requesting my presence. There's not even dinner and a movie, but I'll impress the tellers. Wow, the branch manager, catch security's eye. Then I'll use my soigne prowess to dazzle the financial wellness specialist because I have this closet it's filled with fancy clothes high heels and tiaras evening gowns and jewels purses shrugs and gloves I just like to wear them I don't need any better reason than running all my errands than sitting on my sofa I'll dress up for are in the right place and that also makes me realize that I didn't put um, cleaning up my closet in this set list today and that's very silly of me um, maybe we'll have to sneak it on uh, we might have to see we might have to do 11 songs um, I was gonna end with this one and then I was like no this next one is better to end with so I'm gonna play this one um, this is on my bloom and grow album and uh, um, this is absolutely a song about my relationship with housekeeping. And Mary Kondo. I spent a day or three 
redesigning the inside of every closet. Tried it out the kitchen cabinets, tossed the things I never use. I entered all my shoes painstakingly into a database. Use the output to display them by color, height, and style. Oh, how wonderful it is. But I am chaos. I wage a constant battle against my own struggle. can be sat upon without moving one damn thing laundry folded put away dishes done three times a day shampoo bottles in a line hairpins makeup stowed at hand it can't always be this way for I am chaos I Are we outing everybody here on YouTube today? For I am chaos I wage a constant battle against my own struggle For a magazine photo ready home I am chaos I walk into a room and explode Igniting the dark rule of despair Very tidy homes, but I want to have it all. I don't see why I can't, but I am chaos. 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 I am Sarah. Um, your spouse would call you chaos. Well, that's my spouse calls me chaos. He is order and I am chaos. And uh, um, we write music together because we played in a band together. And it's so funny because you look at all of his, his notes on paper are all very linear and clean and precise. And mine are like, well, the chorus is like three pages back. And uh, <laughs> You're a Western person of history on YouTube. Oh, that's that's fantastic. Um, oh, it's great to have everyone here. It's great to have everyone here. I am gonna do an extra song. Um, well, I'm gonna. Do, I've got two more songs. I had one more song because if if you've been counting, if you come to the weekly Wednesday Warble, which I advertise as ten songs on a theme, um, you would know that that was the ninth song. Uh, but Sarah here mentioned. Um, having to go through clothes in her closet and I'm like oh yeah I've got I've got a song about that where's the best way to find it <laughs> um so we're gonna do that and then we'll do then we'll do the song I was planning to close with uh that's not the song I was planning to close with uh, blah 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 that's not the song I'm trying to play oh I see 
speaking of my use of technology. Here we go. How was the eclipse? Um, bit of a letdown. So we are the we were we got 99.3% of the eclipse. Um, and I went out for like half an hour and I was filming and I'm like, I'm going to film a video in the light because we couldn't see the sun because it was just super, super cloudy. Um, and it was, it was, and we've got Elf and I here too. Welcome in Elf and I. That gang's all here. Um, it was cloudy and I'm like, I'm going to film a video. So I had my snowsuit on and big earmuffs and I've got this backpacker guitar so it can go outside. Um, and I'm like, I'm going to film, and I'm going to play songs, because you can't look at the sun, because you can't see the sun anyway, but we'll get the light. It'll go dark for two minutes. That's going to be really fun. And it went from like, like it didn't get dark. It got slightly, it got a teeny tiny bit grayer for a second, and then it went back to normal. Um, but I had uh, some family dropped in because they drove an hour north of us, and an hour north of us, um... It, it was totally dark for the two minutes, so. I think things, uh, I think things, I think things were all, well, I'll check that was Luke. I think things were pretty, I don't think there was any, any real wild news stories, um, about the eclipse, so there we go. Some people had parties, they had Monday night parties. Um, but here on, on this, uh, song of did it get colder <laughs> not noticeably colder no it was already pretty cold <laughs> we had we had three inches of snow that morning put my bikinis in a box with all my sandals and my big floppy hats brought it to storage swapped it out for one Full of tailored coats, leather gloves Brought a wool sweater, chose a timeless color Look through my knee-high boots and pose for the mirror Time is moving on and so am I And so am I Close the door, open another The target's always moving Clear your closet, fill your pockets There's gold in every change you just have to find it looked in the drawers for this back found all the old forgotten ill-fitting clothes taking up space weighing me down i filled another box with bits of old me i paused a moment to acknowledge i wore that and then i promptly dropped it off for recycling life keeps moving on and so must i and so must i close the door open another the target's always moving clear your closet fill your pockets there's gold in every change you just have to find it To the here and now with great gusto And if you need to you can roll with the punches Everything moves on and so will I And so will I Close the door, open another The target's always moving Clear your closet, fill your pockets There's gold in every change You just have to find it have to find it more or less more or less
less like that, more or less like that. I'm gonna catch up with the chat before the last, before the last song. Oh, does it drop for a few moments? Well, I guess it would, because there's no sun, but it's not like we had sun to begin with. The sun was well hidden behind the clouds. Um, it's either cold or is it, can it be colder than cold? It was just cold. Yeah, it could be freezing. <laughs> it was freezing, I think. I think it was below zero. I was playing my guitar without gloves on for like half an hour and it was fine, but it was cold. Um. <laughs> um. Temperature didn't drop there either because it was already cloudy. There you go. There you go. Did you actually see darkness, Sarah? Were you in the path of totality? We were just outside. We were just outside the path of totality. All right, folks, we've got one more song. One more song today. And um, this one, uh, hang on. This one was inspired by, uh, so we moved into this house. I sang a song earlier about how we moved into this house. So we moved into this house and we've got, we've got, we've, we don't really have a yard, but we have land. So we've got a yard. We've got mostly, it's mostly forest, but there is, <laughs> there is a yard space. And we were like, oh, I suppose now that we've got this house, we're supposed to mow the lawn. And so we, I was like, okay, let's look at lawnmowers. And lawnmowers are really expensive. So it was like, um, I will be on Twitch later today. It's going to be really late though, Alf and I, um, because I have a thing on this afternoon. So I'm doing my stream really late, uh, which might be like really late in Europe, 6.30 here. Um, so anyway, we looked, we looked at, uh, oh, you were able to see it peeking through. <laughs> also, everybody, don't be upset about Luke calling me hideous. It is a joke from the Twitch auto mod, which wouldn't let him say nice things about my mother, but it would let us call everybody hideous. So your hideous is now Kyla Tilly code for your very lovely and nice and good. Um, <laughs> like, I, I should clarify that for people who are not in on that joke. Anyway, lawnmowers are really, really expensive. And I was like, I don't want to spend that much money on a lawnmower. I could have a pair of designer shoes for that much money. I could have a new guitar for that much money. Um, so we did not buy a lawnmower. And then um, as summer went, all these daisies, like our yard just filled like block solid with daisies. So I was like, I'm going to go lie in the daisies. And like my husband took a bunch of pictures of me frolicking in the daisies. And so I posted one of those pictures on Instagram and I was like, whole lot of daisies in my yard. And here's me surrounded by daisies. And, um, <laughs> six hours. Uh, I think you might be five and a half, which I guess is about six. Although it's summertime, so you might only be four and a half hours for me. We are currently UTC negative two and a half if that helps. Um, and uh, <laughs> um, you could also, <laughs> well, we looked for goats. We looked to see, because our na one neighbor had goats, so we looked to see if there was anyone that did does the goat mowing, but there isn't anyone around here. And a friend of mine was like, I was thinking about starting that business. Um, anyway, so I posted this picture of me lying in this field of daisies. And uh, Darla Fox, who is another wonderful singer-songwriter um, and delightful person, she responded to my picture of me lying in a field with the phrase whole lot of daisies as that's a song, isn't it, Kyla? And I was like, oh, so it is. We caught up, yeah, you caught up in summertime, exactly. I think our neighbor's kids are all grown. I wouldn't want to be borrowing my neighbor's machine every time I need to mow my lawn. And I don't know if they have a machine either. Um, we did eventually get a push mower and a wicker, a wee whipper snipper. <laughs> All right. How does this song go? Like that. Nancy knows Darla. Darla is a sweetheart. I didn't buy a lawnmower. I didn't have the time. I saw the prices in the flyer and kind of lost the drive. And then
I tried to find alternatives for dealing with the lawn. I thought about the simple tools less modern people use. And then Bugs are growing garden charmed, but as the grass grew longer, we came to acknowledge this wild and untamed lovely thing was growing out of hand. Wednesday Warble for this week. Um, 11 songs about housekeeping. 11 songs about housekeeping. You only mow your lawn about three times a year. Um, I think people mow their lawn. We definitely need to mow it more than three times, I think. Um, I think a lot of people mow their lawns on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. Anyway, anyway, you'd sing about a whole lot of fairies in your yard in, in pipes. <laughs> um... All right, friends. Uh, thank you so, so, so much for joining me here today. David, you're there too. Nice to have you here. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Songs about housekeeping. Next week, next week is going to be a little bit different because I decided because, well, Friday of this week is Yuri night, um, which is like, you know, the first, the first, uh, uh, like mission to space. So it's like a big space travel theme. And, uh, so next week I was like, I would like to do space as a theme, but I've only written two songs about space and one of them no one's ever heard before. Um, so I'm going to try and break that out. And, uh, but I've, I've got a number of, there's a number of pretty good space covers. So next week, next, next week's weekly Wednesday warble is, um, going to be more covers, mostly covers, which is a little unusual for me, but I guess I've been on a real cover kick lately. Um, yeah, so 
so that'll be that. And then tonight, for those of you who are watching me on Twitch, uh, the stream is starting three hours later than usual, as I have another event on in the afternoon. Um, so that's what we shall be doing this week. And uh, I will see you next week. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. And take care, everybody. There might be, I, I, yeah, I might need to write more songs about space. <laughs>